So those who have exam on 20th August, this prediction session is for you. Yeah, but if you want genuine predictions, then only watch this video. Otherwise, it's of no use. Okay, there is no going, magic going to happen. We need to work hard also for getting our desired band score. So if we talk about reading, uh, from last 3-4 weeks, what I've observed is 3-4 weeks, I mean, from last 3-4 months, or more than that, I'm observing that reading either is coming moderate or tough. It's only once or twice that reading has been easy. So now what to do? You know what kind of questions come in reading. You cannot uh, say that this question will only come. We know true, false, heading questions. They always come. Multiple choice questions always comes. Now what makes reading difficult? Difficult kab ho jati hai reading? Reading becomes difficult when there are too many multiple choice questions or there are too many heading questions. So what I would suggest that if you have exam in 20th, 20th, then from today onwards start working on these difficult type of questions more. Find out what is going wrong with these questions like true false questions. Uh, you can practice more and more true false questions. You can practice more and more heading questions. You can practice more and more questions like which paragraph contains which information because this also sucks in your lot of time you know so we need to find out that where we need to work out because reading becomes difficult what i have uh, experienced i have asked always students that why you found that reading difficult they were saying there were too many multiple choice questions or there were too many uh, heading questions and it uh, consumed a lot of time so i'll share the link in the description box where you can practice a lot of true false questions around there are 50 and uh, similarly you have heading questions and you have which paragraph contains which information uh, questions also out there uh, if we talk about uh, uh, so reading may, one is listening and second thing is please follow the instructions very carefully instruction says that one word or two words then please do not write more than two words or if they are asking for one word be very careful about the synonyms the fill up questions also and practice uh, what i would say that don't practice too many readings like three readings in a day rather practice one full reading and then practice these question types only that will really help you a lot because uh, see uh, if you are not finding out like if you've done one reading and there are some questions which are wrong suppose there are 10 questions wrong and you're not bothered about why they are wrong then you won't improve in reading so if there are 10 questions which are wrong just just try to find it out why these went wrong what was the problem why i answered it false but it was true so what was the problem where you did not connect it well you did not understand the question you did not understand the statement which was in the passage so you need to chalk it out that why it went wrong this is the only strategy like when i check writing of students what i what i do and really students improve a lot i tell them mistake in every line every line we find out and there is a mistake we just uh, try to find out that and i tell them and gradually they improve so same as with reading and listening, if you will not find out what is the issue, you will never be able to improve in that. If you talk about listening now, listening again, listening always comes moderate or uh, easy, uh, students find it interesting. But when listening becomes difficult, do you know, listening becomes difficult again when there are too many multiple choice questions because students always face problem in multiple choice questions in listening or map questions. So. You need to again practice multiple choice questions too much, too many times because uh, they give you four options, they give you three options and all the three options seems to be right. Uh, mostly they have Rakhna in multiple choice questions, they talk more about that uh, option which is the answer. Uske baare mein they will talk more and uh, about other options they will talk little bit less. So this is a great key for your listening question types. Okay, so listening, multiple choice question types. Listening may again, spelling matters a lot. See, just imagine if you have got one score less and due to that you are getting 5.5 and that one less number was due to spelling. How would you feel? The whole circle will go, vicious cycle will go on again. You have to go to classes, you have to study, you have to work hard, all the four modules just because of that one mark. 